Hey everyone, Jonathan, blogging your passion. I want to talk to you a minute about AdSense. And AdSense is a tricky thing. Most bloggers that are just kind of getting started, they get discouraged quickly with AdSense. Because if you're having 100 visitors or even 200 visitors a day to your site and you're getting one or two clicks for 25 cents, 50 cents a day, you, you just don't see the potential. And then you're concerned that you've got these advertisements on your site that may maybe you've overdone it, you've got advertisements everywhere trying to incentivize people to click. And it's just not good at all. Um, because you're you're frustrated, you feel like you've kind of overdone it and you're not seeing any results. Well the truth is you need a lot of traffic but as traffic begins to build and it becomes gets better and better over time then you will be amazed at the kind of money that you can earn with AdSense and I might say as you begin to write more blog posts you will have um, particular blog posts that will do fairly well like I had a blog post that I wrote about two years ago that just this last month earned forty five dollars in AdSense just that one page that one blog post and that can happen over and over again every single month now is every one of my blog posts earning forty five dollars a month no but the more that you stay with it and the more that you stay in the game you can do that now here's why I personally decided to turn on AdSense ads on my career coach blog I actually went a year before I did it because I was concerned about the user experience. I'm sure like most of you are. But the reason I finally decided to do it is because I was convinced that Google was serving up some great advertisements for the particular topics I was talking about. For example, if I were to talk about four important reasons why you should have an MBA, and I'm going through the article and showing them you know the benefits of having an MBA and how it can help you in your career then alongside those um, that content is a few relevant ads to some great online MBA programs that maybe they have not even heard about and so they come to my site and they learn about the importance of the MBA and they also click over and begin to collect information on possible places that they might be able to go um, or even just study online for an MBA. So that's just a quick example for you of how that can be beneficial. Now you have to think through for your own site. I would recommend always trying it out and give it some time. Uh, obviously you want to have some a little bit of traffic but you can get started right away if you want. But if you say well I don't know what kind of ads are going to show up on my site I'd like to know then there's a great tool called the AdSense Sandbox. I've included a link in the post so you can click over and try it out for yourself. You can actually use a current uh, URL for your, maybe you've already written some content and you're just curious about what ads would show up. You can actually use that and plug it in here. Or you can just type in a keyword. I'm just going to type in a keyword to show you. We're going to go with resume tips and hit show Google ads. You can see here's some of the, the text links that would show on my site if I were using these boxes. Here's some of the banner advertisements, uh, ad links, things like that. So there's all kinds of career type focused article or um, advertisements here for my article. Uh, and if I were to try something different like let's try basketball goals. You can see there's these are typical advertisements that might show if I am talking about basketball goals on my site. And another great example would probably be like patio furniture. And you see there's some really neat looking advertisements that I could earn money every time someone clicks on it. So that gives you an example. Another good reason why it's it's good for you to check out your keywords or your topic ideas is because if you're talking about an obscure type keyword or one that's just not that commercially involved then you may end up getting advertisements that are not as relevant as you would like. Now one thing you can do is you can block those URLs from showing up in your Google AdSense account. Um, or you can just kind of minimize the amount of ads, but it'll help you kind of determine whether AdSense will work for your site. So try it out and go blog your passion.